Hi there guys, it's Mike from MCQ Bushcraft here and welcome to another video on the channel. I'm out doing some pigeon shooting today with my Fausti side-by-side -side 12 ball using uh, 28 gram sixes, uh, quite a light cartridge really in a respect but um, I've got some 30 gram sixes as well, uh, really just a mixture of, um, of game load just to give me some decent patterning on the pigeons. I'm in this area here which has uh, turned out really well actually, I've seen lots of activity today even while I've just been sitting here setting up the camera. So I'm going to be sticking to this position, this is just a fence line with a style and a post um, and uh, a lot of pigeons are soaring over coming to land in these trees, nice low bright sunlight behind me so it's kind of creating a lot of contrast, they can't really quite see me as they're coming in so uh, let's see how we do. That's one. Two, three, not doing too bad. Try and recover the other somewhere. It's gone off. Gone off. So that's two birds in the bag. I think the third one that I hit has either sawn off into the woodlands or it just flew away. I won't know until I watch the footage. Things happen so quick sometimes when you're out here doing this kind of thing. And once you've hit something and you see it sort of um, almost go into that movement where you know it's going down, you just turn away um, because there's so much else going on, you need to take another shot. And it was an open field, so I suspected I'd just walk out there and find it, but no. So uh, I'm gonna stay in this position. It's a pretty good one, I think. Uh, we'll see what else I can get. Hopefully just a few more pigeons, really, and then I'll call it a day. some bad shooting. Oh, on the wing. So I actually hit a pigeon just then, feathers came out, but just clipped it really. Those were really pushing the range, to be honest, for me anyway, for what I'm comfortable with. But nice clear shots. You know, you've got very few obstructions in an area like this. You can really move properly and, uh, and get some good shots off.
Well, that's another bird, another pigeon. It's just in this tree here. And uh, it's just dropped down and gone into that little lake there, that little pond, sorry. So I'm just gonna recover that now. Well, I got that one from the pond and it's getting to the time of day now where everything's coming into roost. So I'm just gonna wait here for a while because the pigeons often roost in this part of the woodland. They land in all the trees up here and just the brow line um, going over to that field where we were earlier. So I'll wait here a while, see whether anything comes in and uh, see if we can add to the bag. I've had a couple of pigeons land above me. One flew away as I tried to get into position because I had to take, or try and take, a left-handed shot. And the other one that remained was wondering what was going on looking around everywhere and the trunk of the tree was in the way, so I couldn't really get a clear shot. And there's no point just firing for the sake of it. Well, that was one. Couldn't get a shot off on the other one, just too much in the way as it left the woods. But I'll go get that recovered. Very nice bird that, really healthy. Well that's four for the day and I'm pretty happy with that. That's a, that's a couple of meals really. So I can put those in the, in the fridge when I get home, let them cool down, prepare them the next day like I normally do. I expect more will come in if I wait here, quite obviously. It's that time of the evening where everything's coming into roost and even after a shot, things get disturbed, but it settles back down again very quickly. And I think that's what people don't realise about using a shotgun. Um, it gives you the advantage of taking things on the move. Um, you can also take them stationary. Uh, some people who are into sporting shooting won't shoot things unless they're flying, as it's, you know, they see it as it being fair on the animal. But in my perspective, if you're putting food on the table, it doesn't really matter and the animal's dead which either way you do it, so it doesn't really matter to the animal. It doesn't want to die either way. But this is about all I've got time for today. I've just been out today doing a bit of shooting and I've got to get home. So I'm going to have to wrap it up. But I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon in another one. Take care.